Now I'll show you how to extract uh, forces from uh, Stack Pro to Idea Statica directly. So you'll have your all the member forces and member detail in Idea Statica, and later we can just need to apply the connections. So first thing is you need to go to open the like this. I'm showing for Connect Edition. You need to go for Utilities. In that Utilities, you will find uh, Configure button. If you click, then it will pop up Tools menu where you have to go for New and in new you just have to create a um, name idea static or any name you desire so in command you just have to click on the browse button and go to your idea statica install folder here you have to select idea statica connection code check manager dot vbs so once you select click open so your uh, path will appear here then press ok so the command will be linked to your name idea statica then for exporting uh, details from stack to idea statica you have to go for select so in this you just have to remember you need to select geometric cursor not uh, beam cursor or node cursor you have to go for geometric cursor because we need to select node as well as members so which is possible using only geometric command once you select geometry command, you just select the node. So from, yeah, select the node and use control button and select all the associated member in the joint. Once a node along with the beams are selected, go to utilities. Here you'll find user tools, which are newly added. And for that, here you have to go to idea statica with the name which you created click it will take some time to open up uh, so we'll wait Yeah, so here you can see already the node along with uh, all the properties will come here. So you can just have a quick look here. So you can select as many node and associate beam here. So all the nodes associate members will be listed here. Connection details, joints. Okay, so then you right click on this and click open. So it will open uh, connection design, idea static uh, connection design uh, window. So where you can do all the required operation like bolt and plate, and uh, you can give whatever connection uh, required. So based on the force and uh, based on your structural arrangement. Yeah. So as you can see here, here uh, this seems to be shear connection because we don't have any momentum. We have only vertical shear and uh, axial force. And here, this has to be uh, yeah moment connection. So based on that, you can decide your connection. And and before that, you'll be deciding your structural arrangement before the start of the job. And when you're doing your analysis, so I think it should not be an issue. So based on your requirement, you apply the connections. And here you can see with all the load case and all the loads will be applied in the beam. And also this, if you can see, we can see force on the column as well, because we are considering that uh, uh, the node is in equilibrium so if you see here it is highlighted and if you see the unbalanced force for all the nodes it should be zero ideally but if you are using manual input then it may be sometimes it will not match so if you see here all the location we have the load zero 